and welcome to my channel. My name is Holly and I am the creator and maker of Sprinkle Club. Okay, so today I am going to take you through how to create a repeat pattern just like this on Procreate. Okay, the first thing you want to do is create a new document and draw on or illustrate or add images or whatever you want of all the objects that you would like in your repeat pattern. Once you have drawn all of your images, if you go to the layers tab, you want to make sure that each of these objects are on their own individual layer. Okay, so once all of this is done, we need to tweak the settings slightly. This is just so when it's further down the line when we're doing the repeat pattern, it just makes things a lot easier and smoother. Okay, first we want to click this little wrench thing for the settings. And you want to go to gesture control and go down to layer select and you want the touch and hold. And I've turned that right down to the lowest setting. And then this change in this will mess up the eyedropper. So if you click eyedropper and click on the first one and then click done. So basically what we've changed is so when you click on an object and go like that, and click the little arrow, you will be able to move around the object very easily. Also, we have changed the eyedropper to this little square here. So you click that and then you'll be able to move this around. And yeah, it'll just make things a lot easier. The last final setting, we need to click this little arrow here and be selected on uniform and snapping. So basically, this is just helping us further down the line. So as you can see, all those blue and yellow lines will just be able to snap to things, which will make things a lot easier. Okay, now everything is set up. What you want to do is go out of this and swipe left to duplicate and go into the duplicated artwork. This is basically so we keep the original and just in case anything happens, we've messed up a duplicate and we can always go back to the original file. Okay, next is the fun bit. So what you want to do is you want to just start selecting things and arranging them in a nice manner, whatever you would like them to go out like. So I'm just going to mess around with this. Okay, so now I'm done moving all the parts around, you're probably thinking, why is there so much space around all of the objects? So that is what we're going to be working on now. So what you need to do is highlight all of the objects and put them into a group. And then you need to flatten that so it was just one layer. Then next you are going to add another layer and I usually go with black just because I find it's easier to see. And drag that onto there so it fills that with black. Then press this little N icon and turn the opacity to about 50%. And then you're going to highlight those both, group them. And then so all of that is in one layer, in one group, sorry. And then duplicate that so you've got two okay now you are going to select the top group and you're going to drag this across as you can see those yellow lines which are snapping it so there you can see it's all snapped correctly halfway let that go then go to the next one and snap it the other way until that's snapped halfway okay so now we want to go to the groups, delete the black layers, so you can flatten that now. Delete the black layer and flatten that and then merge that down so it's just one layer. OK, now you can start to see the beginnings of what the repeat pattern is looking like. So now what we need to do is fill all of these blank spaces. So what I'm going to do is highlight this, copy, and then paste. 
and then I can start filling in all of these gaps. What you will need to do, so this will be on a different layer, you will want to keep, every time you duplicate something, you want to merge it down just so if I was to select something, it wouldn't select because it would be on the upper layer here. So if you keep everything on when one layer, it'll just make it a lot easier. Okay, now that I've moved a bit and filled some of the gaps, what we did with the black background, we are going to do again, but we're going to, instead of doing it side by side, we are going to be doing it top and bottom. Okay, so we are just going to repeat the process again. So fill another top layer with black, do it at 50%, put them in a group and then duplicate that group. And then move that to the top until it snaps yellow on both top and bottom like that pull that down there we go now we can delete the black layer flatten that delete the black layer again and flatten that and then merge this down so that's all on one layer and then what we just did by copying and pasting and moving all the bits around we'll do that again Okay, so we are almost done with the repeat pattern. The last thing you would want to do is just to move things around a bit. So say this one is a bit close to here. You might want to just highlight this and move it down slightly just so the space around each object is even and you're really happy with it. And you may even want to do the thing with the black layer again a few times so go that way and up down just to make sure that everything is working great for you okay so now you are done with your repeat pattern and you want to be able to export it so you click on this little wrench click share and then whatever you would like to export it as i normally do a tiff just because it's a really high quality file but JPEG, PNG, all that, they're all fine as well. And then, yeah, just save it wherever you want and you are ready to use your repeat pattern. Well, that is everything. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you loved it, please could you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel? That would be amazing. And yeah, if you would like to follow me on Instagram, it's at sprinkle.club. And yeah, I hope to see you all again soon. Bye.